Welcome to the channel once again and today yet again we're going to talk about this device the Redmi 4A and it just doesn't stop to surprise me again and again because yet again we have another new ROM for this particular device and the name this time is Havoc OS. Now this is not your usual AOSP based ROM which will have a few tweaks picked up from this ROM that ROM. Yes it is you know inspired by other custom ROMs but there are a few notable tweaks and features that might not be available in other ROMs and that is the reason I thought it would be you know very very interesting to go ahead and do a install and preview for this particular ROM. Now with this, this might be, you know, one of the very few install and previews that you might see in the next few days because a lot of ROMs have been already covered on this particular channel and it is about time that we start reviewing them. Now reviewing ROMs is going to be a tough task and that is the reason the videos might take that much longer. So please bear me while I do an excellent job for you guys to get the best ROM out there. And towards the end of this month maybe or starting next month, you will have one video which will say which is the best ROM for the Xiaomi Redmi 4A. And then we might look at a good camera app like the Google camera. So basically there are a lot of things coming up when it comes to this particular device. At the same time, the second device that is going to be of prime importance for this month, that is July, is the OnePlus 6 because there are a lot of things that are coming up uh, just today for that matter, DP3 or you know, the latest developer preview for Android P is out. So that should be rolling out to the OnePlus 6 soon and we will do an install and preview for that. So that's about you know the things that are going to come but for today hey let's go ahead and do a install and preview of Havoc OS for the Rolex that is Xiaomi Redmi 4A and let me also tell you this is a unified build so this particular ROM will also work on Riva that is the Xiaomi Redmi 5A. Now before we begin if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. At the same time here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390 go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, my name is Kalash, let's get flashing. Alright guys, so welcome to the channel once again and don't be surprised by what you see, yes this is not a Redmi 4A, this is a OnePlus 6 and this is here because this is what the Redmi 4A looks like. Yes, it is in TWRP and that to a different one. We are using the Red Dragon TWRP this time, which is by my good friend Aryan Patidari. He is a developer for that. So the link for everything will be mentioned in the description. Now, what we're going to do here first is let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the features of this particular ROM. And then we will go ahead and do the install and preview. And uh, yeah, so if you look at the screen, it says features and general it says Round you, rounded UI, OMS support, system-wide burn-in protection, spectrum support compiled using SD Clang, Razer phone lock unlock sounds, now that is good, OTA support, signature spoofing, I've not done that earlier, I don't really know what that is, and micro G app support, so which is fine. Uh, included apps are Google Calculator, Google Markup and Lean Launcher. Lean Launcher is basically a very very lightweight launcher so that should help with the speed. Apart from that uh, there are settings customizations that are mentioned over here, Havoc settings that are mentioned over here. We will of course have a look at that. Now the only reason I wanted you guys to you know go ahead and have a look at this before you go ahead and install is because you can maybe go ahead and browse yourself on XDA developers and look what features this particular ROM offers before you actually go ahead and try it. So what we're going to do next now that we've got all the features and everything covered now it's a long list so if I were to go about <laughs> reading everything out to you it would take a really really long time so why not just go ahead and install it and then maybe we can have a first hand experience so we will switch from the OnePlus 6 to the Redmi 4A let's go ahead and do that all right so what do we have here we have a Redmi 4A running a TWRP version which is a Red Dragon or Dragon Recovery whatever you want to call it now it looks a little different but basically does all the usual stuff that a normal TWRP does so you can use the normal TWRP but the reason I'm using this particular TWRP is in the XDA thread they have mentioned this TWRP so better safe than sorry now as always usual set of disclaimers have more than 50% battery back up all your data we're not going to format the internal storage or SD card but it's always a good idea to back up your personal data when you're doing something like this so we have the ROM and the Google Apps copied in the phone's internal memory so let's get flashing so first things first we will go ahead and do a wipe and swipe to factory reset is what we will do there we go so the wipe is now complete then we will go to install and 
I presume the font is very small, but that's okay. So first we will go ahead and install Havoc OS. Now, if you look at the date of this particular ROM, this is dated 2nd of July. So it's one of the latest builds today. We are sitting on the 3rd of July. So select that zip and swipe to install. There we go. So as always, uh, this is an AOSP based ROM, which is based on Android 8.1. Team Z and stuff like that. So the installation will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be patient for the install to complete. And as I said in the intro, there are a lot of different things that are coming for the Redmi 4A and the OnePlus 6. Uh, there's a full camera review coming for the OnePlus 6. There's a complete review coming for the OnePlus 6. And uh, the Google camera port for this device here is gonna be covered soon as well. So there are a few videos which will be, you know, coming much later than other channels. But then again, quality content is what matters. And I think Google camera is not ready yet for the Redmi 4A. There are still quite a few bugs, but we will definitely have a look at Google camera for this device in one of the later videos. All right, so as we can see, the flash of the ROM is now complete. Now, next thing we need to do here is go to install, select OpenG apps and swipe to install. This will basically install all your Google apps and stuff. So it's pretty, pretty important. And after this, we will simply go ahead and reboot into the system to check how different this particular ROM is. And uh, yeah, at a later stage, a full review of this particular ROM will be coming as well. So uh, if you are in one of the Telegram groups that I am, I have you know mentioned or announced that there will be at least 10 ROM reviews for the Rolex that are gonna come out. So stay tuned for that for sure. There's going to be a lot of Redmi 4A content this month. All right, so as you can see now, Google Apps are installed as well. So we're just going to go ahead and wipe caches. There we go. And reboot system, do not install. So the first boot may take up to five minutes. So please be patient while that happens. And as always, I'm really excited to see what kind of a boot animation does this ROM carry. Okay. Well, that's one of the better boot animations that I've seen in a long, long time. Looks really, really fancy starting up that way. Let's see how good the ROM is. And from what I have read on XDA developers, it seems to be a very, very promising ROM because a lot of people are liking it and it's pretty stable for daily use as well. So if you're looking for a new ROM that you want to use as a daily driver, well, definitely you can give this one a try. All right, so here we have it. We are on the home screen of Havoc OS and uh, just so you know, in case you are from India and you're using a Geo SIM, don't panic if you don't see coverage on the first SIM card because uh, the network settings were not set to LT, they were set to 3G. That is the reason we were not getting coverage. But first impressions, well, if I pull down from the top uh, this particular notification drawer or whatever you want to call it the status bar icons and stuff look like android p which is a really really good welcome addition and it gives the phone a complete fresh look now apart from that if we go through the list of apps as we usually do this is basically the ruthless launcher is what they are calling it we have audio effects and a few other apps browser settings and FM radio, we have Omni Switch as well, which if you have been a subscriber on my channel, well, I have been a big fan of Omni Switch since the early days and it gives you a very different perspective of using your phone. There you have it. So yeah, o Omni Switch is something, it's very, very exciting in custom ROMs. And if you would want me to cover Omni Switch in detail, well, go ahead and mention that in the comment section. I will try to make a video on that. For now, let's quickly go to settings and have a look at the nitty gritties of this particular device. But hey, before we do that, it's important that we open up the camera. Okay. So yeah, the camera works just fine. Now, moving on, if we go to settings here, that is a usual set of settings icons that are always available if we go to system first and uh, maybe if we go to about phone well we have have a coast version we have the status android version is 8.1.0 that's your easter egg and apart from that the phone and the rom itself is you know feeling very very snappy despite having google apps in there and the app launch times and other things are very very smooth and the best part is i have not experienced any force closure here so let's go to settings here and let's see what they are calling their way of customizing this particular rom there should be a setting by that name 
havoc settings that's what it is now as you might have seen in one of my previous custom rom videos is that it has a lot of customization so what we're going to do first we can have a look at status bar i'll quickly you know go ahead and scroll through all the options that are available you have tap to sleep brightness control you can change the clock style you can keep the clock in the center and you can customize the battery bar voice over lte icon can be enabled but it's a small phone so it's better off we don't keep it because then it becomes very very cluttered smart pull down is there you can show the logo of the rom over here so this is more like resurrection remix because there's a ton of customization you have always on display as well i'm not really sure if it works because let's give it a shot nope okay nope so yeah as much as the always on display option is available it is not working and there is no surprise because this is a budget device and it comes with a lcd panel instead of a led panel uh, if you are wondering what always on display is well it is something like this I have it enabled on my OnePlus 6, so a part of the display always stays on. Apart from that, moving on, you have interface settings, you have recent customization. So if you are someone who is into customizing your phone and you know with a very good ROM that is stable, well, I would say this is a dream come true because it is very, very stable as far as, you know, I've spent like five to 10 minutes with it and uh, I will be using this as my daily driver on the Redmi 4A so that I can go ahead and determine if I can go ahead and recommend this ROM as a solid daily driver or not but for now from the first impressions of this particular rom and you know the limited number of apps and the unlimited amount of customization that is available i would recommend you guys go ahead and give this a shot because this rom is definitely definitely worth it really really impressed by the first look and install and preview of havoc os for the redmi 4a and yes remind you let me remind you it is also available for the redmi 5a so that is the install and preview for havoc os guys if you like this video like share and subscribe and stay tuned because there's going to be a lot of awesome stuff coming on smartphone tutorials this month for now this is kailash signing off at smartphone tutorials until then keep flashing keep smiling goodbye